Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Kim Kardashian was discussing the start of her journey with therapy on the season 5 finale of The Kardashians, which caused her to censor the name of an ex. The episode cuts to Courtney in Los Angeles, as Kim comes to visit, asking how Rocky is, which comes after Kim enlisting Chloe's help with a bodysuit. Kim finally admits to Courtney that she was right about going to therapy all along, which stuns Courtney who only says, stop. Kim says in confession, Courtney is back from Australia, and I've been waiting patiently to tell her about my therapy journey. I always would say as a kid that Courtney did everything first and I would just copy her, and like it's kinda true. She adds later in confession, when someone tells me not to do something that I planned on, I physically get like, you're getting in my way, and I will bulldoze whatever's in my way, cause you're not gonna tell me to change my schedule, and I feel like that's how I would get in relationships, like when, censored, started to tell me, you work so much. Why don't you just take the week off? And I'm like, get out of here. Take the week off? That was the beginning of the end. Kim wouldn't discuss the ex further though it's possible that she could be referring to Pete Davidson, her first boyfriend after splitting with ex-husband Kanye West. Pete had been mentioned numerous times and featured briefly during the course of the couple's nine-month relationship. Kim adds, you had to go through it first, and then I'm like I'm gonna do this, as Courtney says, now you see why I wanted you guys to be on it. My therapist told me she watched the show and was like, all your sisters need therapy, manly you and Chloe need therapy, and your mom. Courtney says, I tried to mention it with mom on the show, and she just kept cutting me off, as they cut to an earlier scene from last season where Courtney asks, do you do therapy, or no? Do you have a cute little dimple in your chin right there? Chris asks, completely deflecting the therapy question. Kim adds, I think it comes off like the way you explain it, as Courtney continues, like you need help or something. Yeah, like you're a little bit judgmental, Kim admits, as Courtney says in confession, I think there's an analyzing other people part too, where like I would be like, ooh, I know why you're doing that. It's hard not to like restrain from telling the person. It comes across as being like a know-it-all, so I think I had that phase. It's all a journey and growth, but I think I'm at the place now where I'm like, yeah, do you, whatever, which I think is the unbothered place is the good place to get to, unbothered. Courtney is unbothered. Courtney tells Kim, I loved what she was saying, though, about the trauma, that you probably didn't deal with your, trauma, or that your way of dealing with it would be, as Kim finishes, is just like extra calm. Courtney adds, I do the calmness too, like I'll be, it's like you downplay everything almost as like self-protection, but I think that's why in like emergency situations, I feel like my superpower is to be calm. Kim adds in confession, I would always say how calm I am and that's my superpower but my therapist felt like it's a trauma response, of me remaining calm, in living a life that I always have to be in this fight or flight mode. It was such a light bulb moment. Kim tells Courtney, my thing is like okay, I know people underestimate me so like it's gonna feel really good just to like, as Courtney says, prove them wrong. Kim confirms, yeah, but it's like why? Like who cares? Courtney says she's excited for Kim to do therapy and Kim admits, so I'm the new Courtney, as Courtney says, the biggest thing is just getting to know yourself and why you make certain choices and why you operate that way, and I think that once you know, it can help you make a better decision. A producer asks Courtney if she thinks her whole family should do family therapy, and she immediately says no. Absolutely not. Everyone's at a different place in the board game, you know, getting to the finish line, and I feel like, everyone just do your own s asterisk asterisk t. Kim tells Courtney, I think the one thing that just got me was just like, you can have better relationships with your kids and your future partner if you figure your s asterisk asterisk t out, so that's why I'm doing it. Well I'm proud of you, Courtney.